We're gonna make some buffalo chicken, y'all. I've got a rotisserie chicken here. We're gonna shred. I got some pork rinds for dipping. I got a bottle of red hot wings buffalo sauce. And I got a couple sticks of cream cheese. Now, why am I doing this? Well, a lot of people turn to food when they're depressed. A lot of people turn to food when they're depressed. And sometimes it's inevitable. You're going to do it. It's something that you can break. But there are some times that food just makes us feel good. So I think... People that have dealt with a lot of trauma and depression, child abuse, human abu abuse, mentally abused, physically abused. One of the best things that you can do is you can educate them on things that may not hurt them, but they can still indulge and enjoy at the same time. Chicken. It's a natural food, natural protein, natural fat. It's not going to hurt you. Cream cheese. Made from an animal. It's minimally processed. It doesn't take that much to make it. It's not going to hurt you. The stuff, the ingredients that's in here is very, very basic in this wing sauce. Vinegar, cayenne pepper, salt, canola oil. I'm not a huge fan of canola oil, even though they say it's heart healthy. It's still not a natural oil. But it's, it's okay. Paprika, xanthan gum, natural butter type flavor and garlic powder. Nothing in here. It's like, it's very, very basic. No big ingredient list. This is something that you can use. The pork rinds, fat, a little bit of a tr uh, of some trace amino acids, but there in pork rinds there are a couple amino acids that are missing, so that's why they have to list them as not a complete protein source or a, uh, a amino acid profile source or something like that, whatever it says as a disclosure. So, but it's another food that if you're staying away from sugar and carbs and stuff like that, you can eat and it's perfectly fine. So we're gonna make some buffalo chicken dip. Yummy food. Comfort food. It's going to be a long video, y'all. So if you've got questions, if anybody pops in, share this video, do whatever you got to do. Let's get some people in here. shred this rotisserie chicken. Let's pull all the meat right off the chicken. This is just a whole rotisserie chicken. Easy. Five bucks at Jewel. Whatever store you go to. Pull all the meat off of it. Every bit of it. The skin and all. Unless you don't like the skin. Then you can throw it away obviously. But I like the skin. Because that's where a lot of the, the actual protein is. And then pull all the meat off the bones and stuff as well. Chicken wings, the drums. Save your bag over here on the side. See, I didn't learn this until I had enough and I gained so much weight that I almost couldn't get it back under control. But luckily I've got it under control now and I'm losing, losing, losing. And I'm not gaining anymore because I, I learned a lot of the information that our medical providers were telling us was not correct. A lot of them are trying to push people towards more of a, a vegan type diet and stuff like that when they don't realize a lot of the reason why they are the way they are is because they're not getting good sources of nutrition. You know, taking 
natural fats and proteins out of the diet does nothing but harm your hormone production and regulation overall. So it's one of the reasons why I'll never do that. You'll never see me, you know, preaching any kind of vegan diet because it's not a natural diet. Just shred it as much as you can. Get as much meat off the bone of the chicken as you can. I love the skin. As I take it off, I just eat it. And you don't want it in your dip because if you get it in your dip, it's going to make everything a mess. But I don't throw it away. I definitely eat it. That's where everything's at. Flavor. Just keep shredding as much as you can. Pull as much of that rotisserie chicken apart as you can. Little pieces. This is that comfort food that won't put weight on you. And if you're feeling bad about stuff and this is what you got to go to, it's easy to make. You ain't got but three ingredients, and that's all you need. And when you take this to the holiday parties and stuff like that, it's a game changer. I mean, people really, people really love this. You get yourself some pork rinds and stuff like that, and you dip the pork rinds in here. You ain't got to worry about diabetics. You don't have to worry about people with medical conditions. I mean, just perfect. And if you want to, you could get yourself out a chopping board and you could chop all this up even finer. I just basically want it all separated right now.
You could do this in an Instapot, a slow cooker, stove top. We'll do it on the stove top. Stove top's pretty fast. Okay, now we'll go over to the stove and get us a pan out. over here to this stove now that we got the chicken all shredded up I'm gonna dump that bottle of hot sauce in there come on now cooperate with me Dump this in here. Turn it down a little bit lower. Take one of these bricks of cream cheese and put in here. I like it really, really, really creamy, so I'll put two bricks of cream cheese in there. And you know what? There ain't no sugar in any of this. There's no junk in any of this. It's all really low calorie. Now what I'll do, oh, pull this chicken apart some more.
this was just a rotisserie chicken that I just pulled all the bones out of and shredded. Let's do it one way. Hey now, hey, 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 hey now. Cooperate with me now. I ain't got no counter space, guys. I'm in an apartment. It's kind of like they forgot about giving people counter space. So I'm just trying to work with what I got and kind of seem like a bozo to clown while I'm doing it. But, hey, whatever works, works. If I could help one person, I done did my job. So, this chicken needs to go in the pan now. of the chicken That's it. It's done.
This would be like your traditional style buffalo dip right here. Let's go over to the table. That's it right there. Pretty clean. No junk additives in it. No nothing. Just plain Jane traditional buffalo dip. Chicken buffalo dip. And you get yourself a big old tub of... Uh, pork rinds I get these pork rinds here at all or not Aldi but uh Sam's Club this big old giant tub of pork rinds I think at Sam's Club is like six bucks and so I don't get all the extra carbs and sugar and stuff like that when I get a craving for this I just make it real quick if I wasn't videoing I would have been done in 10 minutes And then basically I just get myself a big old pork rind out of the top of it. And then I dip. Buffalo chicken dip. You sit there and watch a movie, whatever. If you're feeling, if you turn to food and you want something quick, you know what? Sometimes it, it is what we do. We have our comfort foods. But if you can try to find the clean comfort foods to make it as easy as possible on your health, then why not use them? The recipe I showed you earlier with the cream and garlic chicken, Phenomenal and people crave it this buffalo chicken dip three ingredients takes 10 minutes to make if you're not doing all this video and stuff like this and you're sitting back down again indulging there are ways to still cope with depression and eating stuff or eating disorders if you learn the path of doing it you can start stepping away from sugar and nasty stuff like that and learning how to make healthier stuff it's not going to be so impactful on your health. Bon appetit. Man. Delicious. No carbs. No sugar. Diabetics don't have to worry about having crazy spikes if they're eating it. Really, really, really good. That was an easy one. You guys seen how easy it was. I did a lot of talking, but that was easy. Who doesn't mind? Five bucks for a chicken at the grocery store, a two dollar thing of hot sauce, and four dollars worth of cream cheese, and a six dollar tub of pork rinds. You can snack on this for the next week or two. It keeps in the fridge for about two weeks before it goes bad. Why not? If you're going to do it, Rather it be something like this than something that's really going to mess you up. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate you. Love you. Have a great night.